Hello all, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. In this video, we'll be discussing a Python-based machine learning model to predict the car price prediction. Basically, we, we have a data set, real-world data set, and we need to predict the price of a car on the basis of given features like selling price, cost price, uh, fuel type, automatic or manual, it, it, the depreciation here that how much old the vehicle is. So according to that data, data set, we'll analyze the data set first, We'll train the data set by using some algorithms and accordingly we'll test it and we'll, predict, and we'll predict the values accordingly. So with that being said, let's get started and have a look on the code of this particular machine learning model. So basically this is a car price prediction model. Initially I have imported the, all the necessary libraries that are needed to build this particular machine learning model. Next, I have imported my data set uh, through pd.readcsv function. So the data set uh, looks somewhat uh, somewhat like this. Uh, year, uh, selling price, present price, kilometers driven, fuel type, seller type, transmission or owner. Uh, so next I have checked that uh, the unique values in every feature. For example, the seller type, uh, seller type column has two unique values, dealer and individual. Fuel type has two respectively, petrol, three sorry, petrol, diesel, CNG. The transmission has two values, manual and automatic. Owner has uh, three values, 0, 1, and 3. The next is, this is data cleaning process to check the null values. That if there are any null values present in the data set, it could result some uh, some count particularly. But uh, as you can see here, that each and every feature uh, counts to 0 and maps to 0, which infers that there is no such uh, null values and we can move ahead with further operations in our data, data set. Then through describe functions, we have, uh, we have, tell, uh, we have, fetch some statistical inference out here. Uh, I am like writing here as statistical inferences. Uh, so uh, through the, uh, describe function in uh, in the uh, providing describe function through the, on the data frame gives us the statistical inferences of the data set. So we have called this particular describe function which tells us the count, mean, standard deviation, minimum of data set, maximum of data set, 25% of data set, 50% of data set accordingly. So this is particularly a statistical inference data frame. The next we have now final data set because uh, we have a data set in which we have removed the year column because there is no such uh, use of this particular column. So for our model building process, rather than what we have done is we have set the uh, a new column as current year, which is 2022 and we will minus this current year with the year given so we will get the depreciation of the vehicle that this much old years the vehicle is so we have done accordingly we have minus this uh, particular current year column with the year present year column uh, so that we can get the depreciation col uh, column along uh, with our data set so then we have accordingly uh, drop that particular data set so as you can see that here it is year 2014 and here it is current year so we have minus this current year by selling price by year sorry this minus this so it will give a number of years we have generated a new column as number of years which is final data set of current year minus final data set of year which will give us this particular column that is this so this is the depreciation value of the vehicles accordingly then we have dropped particular uh, dropped that particular year column because as, as we have calculated the depreciation value so once we have calculated the depreciation value there is no use of year column, right? So we have uh, dropped that particular column year by drop function in Python. Next, we have uh, uh, sh uh, shared the head of the data set. So this is this is what our final data set looks like, which contains the features like selling price, present price, kilometers driven, etc. Then through get dummies function in pandas, we have uh, called this particular function in our on our final data set which will provide some, cat uh, which will give the unique values to categorical features. Basically categorical features is nothing but which gives you, you the unique values. So this is particularly, uh, we have called this particular uh, get dummies function in pandas in final data set. And accordingly we have printed the data set as head functions. Then we have dropped this particular current year because as we have the values of depreciations, that is the final data set of year column minus current year. So there is no use of current year right now also. We have just 
included that current year to calculate the depreciation values of the vehicle. So we'll drop the current year as we have already the number of years column in our data set. So current year is of no use. Next, we have seen the correlation on each and every of with, with respect to each and every variable. This, this particular, this data frame shows us the correlation between selling price and selling, selling price, with, so which is actually one selling price and present price, which is 0 0.8 selling price and kilometers driven, which is 0 0.02. So accordingly, we will visualize this particular uh, correlation factor by a heat map. So as you can see that we have uh, by heat map a pair plot. So pair plot is nothing but a, but a set of scatter plots, which shows the relationship between uh, each and every variable present in the data set. Basically, it is a set of scatter plots, which helps us to derive some correlation between each and every feature of the data set. Next, we have uh, this next we have visualized this particular correlation value through heat map function in SNS that is Seaborn. So as you can see that uh, we have pro, uh, we have created somewhat heat map like this in the uh, in which we, uh, this uh, the green ones are strongly correlated as it is one because they are related with uh, with uh, themselves only because if a variable x is correlated fully with x so the correlation with x comma x is one so we have now we have now uh, generated the correlation between one and one which, uh, which is correlation between features so once we have uh, shown this particular data set in, a, in through heat map we'll get to visualize some more data set uh, we will we'll get to visualize some more correlations between each and every variable so this was just to visualize our correlation factor. Next we have, now it's a time for train test split phase. So we have further uh, uh, bifurcated our data into the independent uh, features and dependent features. So dependent features is selling price, which we, which we need to calculate and independent features are the, all these. So in X we have independent features and in Y we have dependent feature that is selling price that we need to predict. Next we have seen the head of the data set of X and Y. So why is the selling price? So selling price is somewhat 3.35, 4.75, 3.35, 4.75. So next we have, now it's time to uh, calculate the number of features that which, how much features we need to give to the model in order to generate or in order to achieve maximum results with a high accuracy. So uh, through a, random, a randomized search CV and using extra tree regressor, we have calculated the exact appropriate number of features which could be uh, given to this model in order to achieve more frequency, more efficiency and we'll get more efficient results. Once we have imported all these uh, extra tree regressor sklm.ensemble, then we have uh, this particular graph is given for the parameters. So which takes the most important parameter. Basically, uh, this is the present price is one of the most important parameters. So this uh, important features. So this particular code applet tells us to select the most important feature to give to the model in order to generate some efficient results. So next we, we have imported a train test split function with a test size of 0.3. And accordingly we have called a uh, random forest class regressor. And through the concept of hyperparameter tuning, we have uh, uh, selected the most important features in order to generate some uh, more efficient results. Then next we have uh, fit at this particular, all the parameters in our model through uh, dot fit function. And we have provided X train and Y train in the, in the function. So these uh, automatically all the uh, features are getting uh, feeded into, into our model. So this is entirely a model. And now we have the predicted values also uh, in the form of uh, uh, SNS dot disk plot. So this is uh, the SK, uh, we have now calculated the error, uh, mean squared error, me, uh, the, uh, root mean square error and mean absolute error, which is almost uh, with, a, with, a, with a decent performance. So this is basically an entire Python machine learning model to predict the price of a car on the basis of given features. So this was an entirely a Python based machine learning model. I hope guys the things were precise and clear enough. The code is precise and clear enough. Thank you so much guys. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you, if you find this video interesting, please do subscribe to our channel, my project ideas in order to get some more technical stuff in different technology and different technical domains. Thank you so much guys. And please do hit the subscribe button so that you get, you get all the latest notifications from our channel. Thank you so much guys.